Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Jan, if you're new here. Today we're making Christmas crack. Uh, the main ingredients you will need, you can either use Ritz crackers or you can use saltines. That's up to you. I have Ritz crackers. Now I'm also making a small batch of this. Uh, this is an 8x8, a line with parchment. You definitely want to line it either with parchment, nonstick uh, tin foil, or spray it heavily because this will stick. Uh, if you're going to make this for, you know, a good bit of people, you're going to want to double everything I'm telling you here. So, but for just a small batch, this should hold about 16 crackers, give or take a couple. Half a cup of packed brown sugar, one stick of butter, one cup of chocolate chips. I'm using milk chocolate. You can use semi-sweet, dark chocolate, whatever you like. Whatever kind of sprinkles you like, if you want some sprinkles on yours. And then, uh, like I said, either rich crackers or saltine crackers, at least 16, maybe. If you're, you're going to use a big pan, you'll probably need two sleeves of crackers. But to start with, the first thing we've got to do is melt our butter. Now, while I'm waiting for that butter to melt, I'm going to go ahead and line my dish here with my crackers. Well, Jan. Come on. Okay, well, I messed it up. Here we go. Um, you can put these either salty side up or down. It's up to you. I have also gone ahead and preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Now you can wait until you get your uh, your butter and your brown sugar in the pan together, uh, but you definitely want to do it at that point because uh, once our brown sugar and our butter boils for five minutes, we have to move very quickly after that. Let's see. I don't think I can get a whole one. Let me try this. You just, I mean, you really don't want any gaps, but... I should have made that a little bit smaller. I'm going to stop right there before I mess it all up. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Now we're going to go over to the stove. Okay. Butter is just about melted. In goes our brown sugar. Again, that was one stick, which is one half cup of butter, 113 grams, I believe, and one half cup of packed brown sugar. You can use light or dark. Uh, I just prefer light brown sugar. So, you can also, I, um, I also used. Uh, salted butter you can use salted or unsalted if you do use unsalted butter you'll want to add a pinch of salt into this and I've got this uh, this burner on medium-high and then we're just gonna keep stirring I know it looks like these two won't come together, but they will. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now then, we're going to let this boil for five minutes. There we go. Now it's all come together. Y'all, I almost forgot something. Pinch of vanilla. But we're not going to put that in here until this is boiled for five minutes. So make sure you boil this exactly five minutes. But you can see how it's already, like, you know, stiffening up. That's why we have to move so quickly once this comes off this eye. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Ooh, stir that in really well. Alright, and we're headed back to the counter. Alright, y'all, here we go. Give it a more stir. All right, now we're going to pour this out. Can't do it that way, I'm sorry. You just want to pour it out over your crackers. Take a flat spatula or offset spatula. Look, perfect time, and you hear our stove is ready. And you can see this is already trying to harden on me. As fast as you can, spread this out over your crackers. Definitely thicker on one side than it is on the other. That's all right. It's still going to be delicious. Okay. Now then, this is going into a 400 degree oven for exactly five minutes. Exactly five minutes, y'all. Okay, you can see this is boiling. Now we're gonna take our cup of chocolate. We're going back in the oven for two to three minutes max. Be right back. Here we go, y'all. You want to take your spatula again. And you just want to spread the chocolate out. This is one you might want to make alone. Uh, you don't want your little little ones accidentally touching this stuff. It's like lava. You don't want to burn up any of your babies. So they can watch you, but yeah, you just want to keep them in a distance for this. Okay. That 
is done. Now we're going to beautify it. Now you can add absolutely anything you want, but you add it now and you add it fast. We're going to add some silver stars. I'm just going to drop them. Drop them on there. Add a couple more. Then we're going to add some snowflake sprinkles. You can add crushed peppermint. Uh, you can add whatever you want to this. I thought the snowman sprinkles would be pretty. I think that's enough. I mean, that's a lot. You don't have to add anything. Um, you could also add some peanuts if you like, like some crushed up nuts or cashews. Oh, I bet that's good. Okay, I think that's more. Probably, probably way too many sprinkles. I get excited with the sprinkles. All right, and that's it. Now this needs to go into the refrigerator for an hour or your freezer for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna break it up into pieces. Let me get another. I really don't want to touch this hot pan. See how pretty? I think that's really pretty. So this is going in. I'm going to put this in my refrigerator. I don't think I have room in the freezer or else that's where I'd put it because I'm ready to bite into this stuff. So I'll see y'all back in an hour. Here we go, y'all. I am so excited. I love this candy. Now, the one thing I forgot to do, oh, well, they did stick, okay. You know, I didn't press these in, and I didn't do that because uh, it was quite hot. <laughs> Either way, here we go. You just break it any size you want. That's what the bottom looks like. Mmm. Oh. No, oh, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Toffee. Kids love this. Adults love this. Mmm. And it's absolutely delicious. Tastes a lot like a Heath candy bar, if you like Heath bars. I absolutely love this. Problem is, I started it and I can't stop. <laughs> it's so good. With the saltiness of the cracker, and then the toffee, and then the chocolate on the top, along with the sprinkles. Y'all, this is absolutely delicious. A lot of gifts out of that. Now again, this is a, just a half batch. Because I knew if I made a full batch, I was going to sit here and eat it. So under the description of the video, I'm going to put down there what I actually used in this. Um, again, but if you're going to, you know, feed this to multiple people, you probably for sure want to make a full batch of it. Because you cannot eat just one piece. Mm. So good. Y'all, give this one a try. You will not regret it. It's amazing. I love it. Love it, love it. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you soon. Thank you.